Today we're going to be playing the entire career of Jeremy Pena. The dude's probably coming off the best season you can ask for as a rookie. The guy's achieved so much so far in just his rookie season. A gold glove, an ALCS MVP, and that on top of that, a World Series MVP. Also, to add on to that World Series MVP, he was the first ever position player rookie to win the MVP. Absolute craziness from Jeremy Pena in 2022. Let's see what happens throughout the rest of his career. If you guys don't know, for a lot of these career sims, I like to take a step back and just let what's going to happen to his career happen. So if the guy ends up getting traded off the Astros for whatever reason, that's going to happen. If Destiny wants him to sign a gigantic contract with another team once he reaches free agency, that can happen too. I'm basically just going to let whatever happens to Jeremy Pena happen and let's see how the heck his career goes. If you guys are excited for this and want to see more of these type of videos, then be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe down below. Let's go ahead and get into it. Jeremy Pena, best of luck to you in the Astros. Let's get it. In 2022, the Astros finish off 103 and 59, winning their division will be taking on the winner of the wild card game. Again, pure dominance from the Astros. What the heck? Awards real quick, Jeremy Pena. Wow, never mind. Jordan Alvarez for the MVP. The guy hit a 314 with 65 home runs and 160 RBIs. This dude's out of his mind. Dude, Shohei's got to be so mad. Dude had an ERA of 1.78 for the entire season and still didn't get the MVP. I mean, at least he got the Cy Young, but Jordan just said, hey, sorry about it. My boy took it straight from him. God dang. All right. Well, hey, Jeremy, how'd you do in your first season, technically? And not good at all. A 210 with 10 home runs and 40 RBIs. Terrible. Let's hope the guy can redeem himself in the postseason. That's going to be the biggest thing. Here we go. Versus the Rays up first in the LDS, and we got eliminated by the Rays. Okay. Losing the Rays, just a little bit different than the actual 2022 Astros, but whatever. Jeremy Pena, 133. Oh, God, dude. 2023, please be nicer to him. It looks like Jeremy Pena is going to be going to a couple more postseasons while he's on the Astros. He's just going to be along for the ride. They just signed Aaron Judge to a nine-year deal worth $315 million in the offseason. Are you kidding me, bro? Are we going to get anybody else? I was hoping for Wilson, but no. Dude, the lineup's going to be disgusting for next year. Let's get to it. Oh, yeah, by the way, I guess we decided to add Clayton Kershaw to the rotation, too. The team coming into 2023 has Jeremy Pena on the bench, dude. Got Jonathan VR beating him out. There's no shot that stays. Ain't no way. The team still looks ready to win a World Series this year. I mean, come on. But hopefully, Jeremy Pena can make his way back into the starting lineup. Let's get this thing started. And let's see how we do in 2023. For 2023, finish off 95 and 67, making it as a wild card team facing the Rays again in the first round of the postseason. Jeremy, please tell me that you made it back to the lineup and you didn't. Oh boy. Jonathan VR actually put in a pretty decent season at shortstop, and Jeremy did not even hit a 200 for average. Pena, you are killing me to start your career, my boy. The dude still had a good slugging and a good OPS, but oh my god, had a higher war too. But my boy, you're still killing me. Like, please fix that. So let's see how we do against the Rays and we still lose to the Rays. All right, well, 2023, that's another L. Joe Hayden is first year for agency is going to the Giants right now. All right, Josh Hader going to the Phillies. This game is still insane. What the heck? Back here in 2024 in the lineups real quick, we got Jeremy Pena. Let's go. He's in the starting lineup once again. VR is out of here. We don't got to worry about nothing. Please, Pena, just put in a good season. Don't let them think about replacing you, bro. Don't let them think about it. For 2024, we finish 162, winning our division once again and taking on the winner of the wildcard game. Another good bounce back back here from the boys. Awards real quick. Jordan win the MVP once again. Dude hit a 305 with 49 home runs. Dude's insane. Jeremy Pena though did not get anything this year. How did he do? And he's an 88 overall right now. Okay. But he's got the cold symbol next to his name. So I'm not exactly excited about it. Let's see what happens. The rest of the team obviously put in a great season. Aaron Judge and this team is too stupid by the way. But Jeremy, please show me something good and not terrible, honestly. For what's been happening, I'll take it. By far the best series put in 34 doubles, three triples, 25 home runs. Runs, we will take that. At a 4.2 war this year was definitely an all-star. Good work, my boy. Let's hope that we can have a good postseason. First, the Angels. Please just put them down. And there we go. Won that 3-1 now against the Blue Jays. Here we go. 2-2. Two, two. All right. How's this going to finish off? And we won that. Beautiful. Taking on the Dodgers in the World Series. The first World Series technically in this video for Jimmy Pena. Even though in real life, the guy already got a ring. Versus the Dodgers. It's always a big fight between them. Let's see what happens here. And oh my God, we're going to game seven. I think we got a quick match it. I mean, come on. Game seven, we have to. Jimmy Payne, real quick, two home runs, five RBIs, and a 260. Not bad. Let's see how the heck we do in game seven. Come on. I need everybody hitting fantastic. Jimmy Payne, bottom of the second with two outs. And that's a strikeout. Big rip, dude. Jimmy Payne, back up again as we're getting one hit right now in game seven. This is terrible. Jeremy, ground out again. That's not good. Oh, God. Two straight ground outs, single walk, three run bomb. There we go. Let's make a little comeback here, boys. Let's do it. Come on. Got two guys on for Jimmy Payne with two outs. And he struck out. Come on, Jeremy. This is not the time to choke right now, dude. Come on, we're actually making this comeback, please. Aaron Judge, walk, Altuve, single.
goal. Come on, guys. Mancini, double play. Oh my God. The tying run is on third base. It's off to Jeremy Payne with two outs. Top of the ninth. Come on, Jeremy. Struck out again. Are you kidding me? Where's my dude's clutch factor? Where did it go? Don't tell me we're going to lose it. Bregman, keep it alive. Walk, Jordan, keep it alive. No. We lose the World Series and Pena goes 0 for 4. That's terrible. I wouldn't be mad if he didn't come up in so many clutch situations, but the guy really did and he messed it up bad. That hurts. 2025. Let's get to it. As Shane Bieber goes to the Cardinals. My goodness. Also, same with Walker Bueller. That's not good either. Oh no. The Cardinals are gearing up. 2025 coming in real quick. What the heck? We got DeGrom on this team now too? We better not lose another World Series. Jeremy Pena coming in at an 88 overall this year. Let's see how we do. This year, the Astros almost broke the LB record. 111 and 51, taking their division, obviously. And of course, they're the number one seed in the AL, obviously. Awards real quick. Jordan for the Hank Aaron Award this time around. My goodness. And second place in the MVP. Jordan's such a beast. It's so stupid. Jeremy also came in second place with a gold glove. That sucks, dude. Let's see how the guy did, though. He moved up not only to a 93, but he's also hitting six this time instead of nine. So I better see some good things, even though, again, the guy looks cold. But then again, Jordan's also looking cold. And he did this this year. So I think we'll be all right. Pena, what we doing, baby? There we go. A 290. Even better than last year. And by the way, my boy is looking nice as he's getting older. 27 years old. And the dude's attributes are filling in nicely. Got some great speed. Got some good pop. Got some good contact. Got some great fielding. My boy's turned into a five-tool player right here. Also had eight triples this year. 31 home runs. 88 RBIs. And a 7.1 war this year. My boy cleaned up this year. Also for the contract, he actually ended up signing one. The Astros ended up buying out all of his arbitration years, which I don't exactly know if that was a good idea, Jeremy, but whatever. As your agent, I don't really agree. The guy signed for 4.7, 5.3, 5.9, and 6.5. Gonna be a free agent starting in 2029. Let's see if that actually stays. But more importantly, come on, let's get back to the postseason. Let's see how we do. Angels up first. We're already through there in three games. Next up, Toronto. Okay. Welcome back, guys. Let's see what happens here. And we make it through. Now we're facing the Padres in the World Series. Back-to-back -back World Series. Let's hope that we can win this one. First three games, and we're down 1-2. Oh my god. All right, Lance McCullough. Lost that one too. Down 1-3. One, three. Make that 3-3 three, three, and it's back to game 7. And again, you best believe, I gotta quick manage it. I have to. I need the boys to come out swinging. There we go. Jordan Alvarez threw on bomb. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Jeremy Pena, by the way, is hitting a 382 with 13 RBIs and 3 home runs in this postseason. And I already got a single. That's way better than last year. But my boy's finally doing something better than choking all of last year's postseason. That's another single right there from Jeremy Pena and that's not gonna matter. Leading off this inning, he's 2 for 2. Make that 2 for 3. God dang it. And now now Jeremy Pena. And here we go. He's back up again with runners on the corners. Double. There we are. We're within two runs. Victor Caratini. Got a pitch and change. All right, Victor, come on. Sack fly. That's fine. Within one. Corey Lee. Runner got thrown out. No. Bottom of the ninth. Here we go. We got Judge, Bregman, and Pena. Let's win this thing right here. Judge, please. That's an error. He reaches on an error. That's fine. At first base. Alex Bregman. Single. There we go. Two guys on. Jeremy Pena, please. I'm going in for this one with Jeremy. Two guys on, Jeremy. You got the lefty up. This is exactly what you need. That's a beautiful pitch that's going towards the gap. Please, get down. Go, boys, please. Oh my God, what are we doing? What the heck are we doing? What the heck was that? Caratini, fly out. What was that running right there? We lose the World Series again. Dude, I got my third base coach holding everybody up, but for some reason, my dudes are still running. And because of that, we lose to the Padres. Are you serious? I better see a World Series win in 2026, I swear. And what a letdown. 85 and 77 to end off this year. Didn't even make it in the postseason. Boy, Boys, we had to have sucked, right? That's the only way I see this working. Jordan did not do as good as before, but still a great season. Jeremy Pena still did pretty solid, but again, it's not good enough for us to make it into the postseason. So what happened? The Angels won 97 games. All right, yeah, this game's crazy. All right, off season, what do we got as the Angels beat the Giants in 2026? Give me to 2027. Oh my goodness. In 2027, we're still back with a mid team. What happened? 86 and 76, still not making the postseason. This team is heavily underperforming performing for what it is. Also, since when did we get Tristan? I will, hey, Jeremy had you do. He was injured for, actually, he really wasn't. 364 at-bats. That's still a lot. Just a weirdly terrible year from Pena. Got minus threes and a minus seven to power. Don't tell me he's already gonna fall apart. Don't you dare. He's gotta stay at least until 2029 until he gets that bag. Weird year. Maybe we gotta get off the Astros. I'm not exactly sure just yet, but there's some weird, like, voodoo magic happening down here in Houston. I don't like it. Also, this year's gonna be a huge year. We got Jordan Alvarez filing for free agency. This is bad. If we lose Jordan, we're going to be a trash team. I can guarantee it. 2028, please tell me we didn't lose Jordan. And we got Bobby Wood Jr. Hello. Corey Polanco as well at second base. We did not lose 
Jordan. My boy signed a weirdly undervalued contract. What are you guys doing here? Jordan, I could have been your agent. I would have negotiated 50 million a year for you, my boy. It definitely wouldn't have been with Houston, but still, oh my God. But DH, we got Bobby Witt and he's making more than Jordan. That's just criminal to be honest. But this is Jeremy's final year in Houston, potentially. We'll see how free agency goes and everything like that. He might sign a contract this year. I have no idea, but he is 30 years old and it's the prime time to go into free agency. I need him to have an Aaron Judge type season and let's see what the heck we do here. I will say though, from all the signings that the Astros just made in the offseason, it seems to me they're already kind of moving on from Jeremy. So I don't know. We'll see. I mean, you signed Bobby Witt. You still got Bregman. You still got Altuve. I think they're kind of just waiting for Pena to leave, but we'll see what happens. Today's the trade line real quick. I got to see that Jeremy Pena end up signing an extension and he did not. Okay. We're going to have an eventful offseason then this year. Let's go. And there we are. The Astros are back. It's good to see it. 95 and 67. Take on the Orioles in the divisional series. That's how long it's been. Awards real quick. Aaron Judge and Aaron Judge. All right. Pena, how'd you do it in 94 overall? A 234 with 13 bombs. Not exactly what I was hoping for, Pena. Come on, baby. Got a minus six to power. Got minus threes, minus twos. This ain't good, dude. That's not going to get you paid as much as you need to be paid. Hopefully, it can go crazy in the postseason. That will pay him. I'm not sure, but here we go. We got swept by the Orioles. All right. Well, hey, postseason come to an end. The Twins beat the Cardinals. And now it's officially offseason time. Negotiations. What are we looking like? Pena, how much do you want? 17 and a half. Okay. Let's see where the heck he gets that because I can guarantee they're not going to sign him back. Let's see what happens. Let's see where he goes. I mean, I guess he could technically go back to the Astros, but I personally just don't see it happening after how bad the past two seasons have been. I didn't see him sign a contract in the offseason, so he's either still a free agent, which is impossible pretty much, or he's still on the Astros. And there he is, still on the Astros. All right, how much did you sign for, my boy? Real quick, contracts. I mean, hey, I'm not exactly excited for that contract, but you know what? Still getting paid heavily. Gonna get 22.6 million in 2035 but wow he signed another six-year deal so he's gonna be staying here until he's 37 years old let's hope that houston can make it worth it with Corey seager coming over here weird since you just signed jeremy to a six-year contract but either way let's hope that houston can make it worth it and actually win us a world series come on boys houston's back winning their division again and taking the white Sox and the alds and Pena, how did you do this year where's he at oh my god he's on the bench no don't tell me the guy's gonna be like a dj lemayhew please god no 221 god dude this this is not what I was expecting from Pena. I was hoping for like a superstar career sim. I'm talking like the 2025, 2026 Jeremy Pena where he was going crazy. My boy's getting paid, but he is not what I thought he was going to be. Come on, Pena. He's still got time to come back and he also could still win a World Series or not as we get destroyed by the Orioles. They might win it though. And of course they don't. Dude, what is happening? Everything that I say is going backwards. I should just stop talking, I guess. Astros this year barely made it in at 86 and 76 playing the Athletics in the wild card. What the heck are we doing, guys? Awards, Hank Aaron Award going to Jordan Alvarez and actually Silver Slugger going to Jordan Alvarez as well as Kyle Tucker wins the MVP and he's on the Angels. Dude, what the heck? Pena, how'd you do? Please tell me. He's got the fire emoji. Please, baby. There we go. A little bit better. That's way better than what he's been doing the past three seasons. I'll take it. The dude this year went back to having a 4.8 war, the highest that the guy's had since 2026. It's good to have you back, Jeremy. Let's hope that we can actually win this and get to the real postseason. And we got smashed by the athletics. All right, well, hey, let's keep going. 2031, here we go. Year nine for Jeremy Pena. Let's see how the guy can do. Coming in at a 93 overall at age 33. It's about to go downhill from here. I can feel it. And oh God, Houston has not seen a team like this in a long, long time. 72 and 90 in 2031. The lineup real quick. Jeremy Pena is a 92 overall. Not terrible, but this year he put in a terrible season. The 14 home runs, a 227 and 100 strikeouts. Still had a three war, so technically was better than average, but still not Jeremy Pena level. Also got paid $15 million this year, so I'd be mad if I was the Astros owner. And congrats to the Cardinals. They win it in 2031. Also, Mike Trout retired. No! Going to the Hall of Fame after having a career 303 average, 1,640 RBIs with 590 career home runs. The GOAT. Goodbye. It's been great watching you, my boy. Year 10 and this Astros team is looking like a shell of what it once was. Pena coming into his H34 season. Let's get this thing going. Jordan, we got to do something big here. Pena and Jordan got to carry this team to hopefully, what, 500? I mean, that's what our new goal should be, probably. And never mind, the Giants acquire Alvarez from the Astros. Now, it's just Pena. My boy's alone. Like that Will Smith meme where the dude's just alone in a room. That's Pena right now on this team. And they already traded for his replacement. We're getting Marte on the team. Is Pena about to be next, for real? I think we're good for this year, but still, we are doing terrible, as you guys can see. This year, oh my god. Houston. 
63.99. We should be ashamed. Aside from all the attributes going down, Pena, how'd you do? A 235 with eight home runs. I mean, he got 35 doubles. That's not bad, but still. War, how we look at a 1.3. My boy's falling. Year 11 for Jeremy Pena and the dudes on the bench. This is a terrible death, honestly. The death of Pena's baseball career is going to be a rough one. He's getting paid $18.8 million this year to ride the bench. What the heck, Houston? The Astros finish off a lot better than last year, but still 83 and 79, not making the postseason. And Pena finish off with probably one of the best seasons he's put in within the last three years. 16 home runs, 62 RBIs, and a 260. Still getting crushed with the attributes because he's 35. And for this game, he's basically just in a walker. But finish this year with a 1.7 war, so still slightly below average. But hey, the dude's making 18 million. So Houston, that's definitely your fault. Year 12, and we're back to riding the bench. God dang it, dude. The dude better be the best bench warmer in 2034. He's getting paid $20 million to ride the bench. I don't need Jeremy Payne going down as one of those dudes that got paid and just fell off completely. Please. I need a career resurgence out of my boy. And year 12 for Jeremy Payne is one that he probably just wants to forget about. 66 and 96. Did he even contribute all that much though? Let's take a look. He's back in the lineup as an 83 overall and no, he didn't really contribute anything. Eight home runs, 33 RBIs, and a 237. Dude's getting killed. 36 years old. It's so sad to see. And had by far the worst war of his entire career, a 0.4 and made nearly 21 million this year. Dude, I want his job. And yo, we've officially reached the peak of Elmby the Show. The Pirates beat the Orioles in 2034. The Battle of Two Dumpster Fires. Well, not really. The Orioles are actually getting a lot better, but still. Two teams that were considered dumpster fires, even in 2020, have officially won the World Series before the Astros won the World Series. This freaking game, dude. That's peak Elmby the Show. I can't believe that happened. Painted going into his age 37 season, taking over at second base, actually. This might not be a bad spot for him. I kind of like it. Let's see what happens. Houston this year in 2035 finished off 76 and 86. Still not back to the postseason. This is crazy for the end of Jerry Payne's career, basically. The guy's 37 years old, 78 overall. I mean, he's lost so many attribute points. He's in the last year of his contract. This is not anywhere close to what I thought his career was going to be. The cold hit of reality for this game is crazy, dude. Hey, again, Jerry Payne is coming into free agency for the second time in his career. The Astros have probably a record breaking $170 million to spend. Let's see if he actually signs back with the Astros. 2036, let's see where Jeremy Pena ended up. Is he on this team first? Let me go to the shortstops. And no, he is not. But wow, Houston has actually loaded up. We got O'Neill Cruz. We still got Marte. And now we also got Ronnie. What the heck? The bigger question though, where the heck is Pena? Where did my boy go? All right, I gotta know. Pena, you are a free agent. No, dude, no. This ain't the end. Don't tell me. The dude got kicked out of Houston like he's the Astros version of Jacoby Ellsbury. Rip, dude. That's so sad. I hope the guy gets a team midseason. I really do, but I don't know if he will. Hey, the Pirates ended up making it back to the World Series in 2036. And where's Pena? Did my boy at least get on a team? Let's see. Jeremy Pena is a 71 overall and did not get a team at all this year. 39 years old. That's the end of his career. There's no way he gets a team. Let's go until he retires. I have no idea how long that's going to be. But after one year out of baseball, I highly doubt it's going to be that long. Real quick in 2037, I have to do it. Player search. I got to know. Did he somehow make it? on a team and he didn't. He's a seven overall now. Just in case we can't see the stats when he retires, he finished off with a 242 average, 159 stolen bases, 213 home runs, 55 triples, 360 doubles, 1,546 hits out of 1,775 career games. Honestly, incredibly underwhelming for someone that I thought was going to be a superstar for this sim. Not to mention technically in this sim, didn't win a gold glove, did not win an MVP, did not win anything. Didn't even win a world series ring. Incredibly disappointed for Jeremy. Can we get an F in the comments? Oh my goodness. And there he goes. Jeremy Pena at the age of 41 is out of here. Also doesn't go to the Hall of Fame either. That's pretty obvious, but still at a 59 overall at 41, 14 years MLB service, all with the Astros, by the way. The guy had some super high highs and some pretty low lows. It's tough. Again, if you guys want to see these type of videos with anybody else, then be sure to tell me that in the comments. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll see you guys very, very soon. And peace out. Rip. Jeremy Pena. God dang.